today I'm going to top dress these pots. Over the past few weeks, I've been potting up quite a few of my plants. And as you can see, I've got most of them on top of my potting table. Since the days are getting warmer now and I'm starting to water them more, now is a good idea to add some top dressing. Maybe you've asked this question at some point, you know, about using top dressing with pebbles. And you might be asking, is there any use for them other than just decorative? Because they just look, maybe they're just a gimmick. But in my opinion, they are more practical than they are gimmicky. I have several reasons and several observations. And this one's I noted throughout my experience with using top dressing. So I figured it would be a good idea to share them with you. So my first reason is that the pebbles underneath serve as a barrier between the leaves, the lower leaves, and the soil. Since there's no contact between the two, this leads to reduced chances of rot when the soil is too wet. Number two, having top dressing mitigates the effects of erosion. This is particularly relevant if you're the type who hoses down their plants or if you're like me, you expose them to the rain. So as you can see here, most of the fine topsoil has been eroded, leaving deposits of sand and maybe compacted soil. Whereas on this side, everything is protected by the barrier of top dressing. Number three, density. So if you have top dressing, this reduces the chance of lighter materials from floating up onto the top of the soil. Number four, they do not tend to compact unlike regular soil. This means there's lots of air pockets around them. Number five, Having air pockets means that they are poor conductors of heat. Exposed soil will heat up a lot faster than top dressed soil. As a result, the roots are less likely to burn provided that you keep them dry. So make sure not to water your plants when it is hot outside. Number six, light colored pebbles reflect rather than absorb light. As a result, less heat is being radiated into the roots. Number seven, sunlight that's reflected off of the pebbles will bounce off of the lower leaves and this will provide them with their share of sunlight which they would need for photosynthesis. This could also reduce the likelihood of etiolation. Number eight, you don't have to worry much about reflected light because reflected light is weaker than direct light. If you are worried about the possibility of reflected light burning the undersides of your plant, don't be. Because by the time that there's enough heat, enough light to burn your plants through reflection, then the plant itself should have long, already long been burned by direct light. And it's only your fault that you left it there in the first place. Number nine, dark colored pebbles absorb heat. And this might be relevant to you if you live in a cold climate. Number 10, there's less likelihood of weeds growing on your top dress soil. Well, at least for the most part. Sometimes they do, but at least it's much easier picking them off one by one rather than having an entire area full of weeds. And now we're back to the potting table. 
So as I was mentioning earlier, I'm planning to top dress my pots. And that's what I'm going to do now. Such a mess. Might be easier if I use a deeper one. Yep, I was right. Yeah, sometimes I have one of those stupid moments. It happens. So I'm finally done top dressing this lot. But wait, there's more. Man, I should do this another time. There's a lot to go through. You know what? I just realized that I haven't labeled the others yet. I better go do that now. Now all of them have labels. They're here now 
in the neglect area but there's still a lot more to go through maybe I'll do them next time now before you guys cry bias since I've only discussed the advantages so far I'm going to quickly mention the downsides depending on where you live pebbles cost more upfront than using organic materials as mulch such as wood chips bark or what have you however in the long run pebbles might be cheaper because they do not break down or decompose with organic mulch you will have to top up every few months or years so the costs eventually add up Inorganic mulch such as pebbles do not usually retain as much moisture as organic mulch. This may or may not be desirable depending on your climate and the needs of your plant. Inorganic mulch do not release nutrients back into the soil since they don't break down. You'll have to fertilize using other means which you should probably be doing anyway. Leaf debris on pebbles might be hard to clean up, while with organic mulch, you won't care since they add to it. Now depending on the size of your pebbles, you could probably use a leaf blower or just good old hand picking. Wind will eventually blow soil into the pebbles which will allow weeds to grow. But if you think about it, this problem is a lot worse with organic mulch. But in the end, we are talking about an arid garden. If I were to deal with regular plants and trees, I wouldn't use pebbles. I'll go organic all the way.